you don't. <laughs> so I was in this coffee shop, eavesdropping on these two hipsters. And, uh, let me say, I'm sorry, I'm not ready for this tonight. <laughs> it's, it's really not that funny. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be real, I don't wanna break things down, but this is just the way shit works out sometimes. I spent most of my day today at funeral services for a guy that I worked side by side with for 15 years. It's 15 fucking years. 15 years of ups and downs, 15 years of shitty fast food lunches, 15 years of watching desktop baby pictures morphing into pictures of young adults. And as they closed that lid today, I realized what little effort it took me to just one time say, you are such a fucking asshole. I hate your guts. Your wife's a bad whore. And that dude is not your son's roommate. <laughs> But now he's dead and I have to live with regret. <laughs> I find some comfort, find some comfort in my Catholic upbringing because my faith tells me that right now he's in a lake of fire, <laughs> being repeatedly sodomized by fallen angels with huge cocks. <laughs> Which reminds me, I recently went to a gender reveal party. <laughs> I'm not comparing a gender reveal party to demonic ass rape, I'm just saying if I had a choice. So, but I gotta go to this thing because it's my son and his wife's first kid. I'm gonna be a grandfather. That's where you're supposed to go, oh, shock, oh no, no way, you're a grandfather. Yeah, I'm gonna be a grandfather. So I gotta go because all the family's gonna be there. All the grandparents are gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. My daughter-in-law's parents are going to be there. This other simple bitch is going to be there. All the grandparents. <laughs> Took you a second. All right, so I go, and I got to act like it's not fucking stupid, which is great, because as soon as I get there, my kid walks up and goes, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> We're an eloquent family. So I'm already pissed at him, because I got to spend the next, I don't know, three to 17 and a half hours listening to this. I think it's a boy. I think it's a girl. Now, I think it's a boy, because I think it's a girl. You know, she was carrying heavy before, but now her left tit looks bigger than her right tit, so I'm pretty sure it's a boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> we spent less time debating whether or not to take grandma off life support. <laughs> and that would have went quicker if she didn't keep getting involved. <laughs> I feel better. Yeah, walk towards the light, grandma. I got a fucking car painted to me. <laughs> So I'm just chilling, you know, I'm trying to blend into this thing. Hanging in the back, picture of my daughter-in-law's female relatives naked. You know, like you do. Like you do. And uh, all of a sudden this kid walks up to me with a pencil and paper. So you think it's gonna be a boy or a girl? I said, yes. <laughs> so, anyway, the big moment arrives. They open the box, these blue balloons pop up. It's a boy, everybody's congratulating each other like they got something to do with it. <laughs> and I said, yeah, this is when I had my moment. I'm like, the kids come up to me, they call me grandpa. I'm terrible in the situation. So they're hugging me. They look at me for a response. I'm like, wait the fuck. <laughs> it's basically what we're doing, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's in the bathroom. <laughs> Out, Mr. Dumbass. <laughs> you call the fucking coin flip. Come here, come over, come here. Try it again. Heads or tails? What is it? He said hats. Tails, you're fucking stupid again. Now go over there. <laughs> to be totally honest, he was right, but if I would have told him that, the douchebag would have thought he had special powers for the next three months. <laughs> I'm Jimmy McKee. Thanks for making.
Madrid come through.